what is up my thrifty friends tabs here from the urban goddess shop welcome back to my channel today's video we're going sourcing it is a sourcing day and uh, i'm kind of excited about it i don't know i always feel good when i'm going sourcing it's like the fun part of the business you know what i mean it's the part where you're like it's more of the thrill the excitement i think this is probably the part that hooked me the most into reselling uh, I don't know what to expect, but I haven't sourced since Thursday. So it's been a good five days. I like to leave breaks. Like I know you can go source every day. You can check your stores. You're looking for new stuff, but I find I have the best results when I can have at least one business day between sourcing days. I try not to source like back to back days because I know there won't be as much new stuff in some of the stores that I'm going to. So ideally, when I have like three or four days between sourcing days, I find that that's, that's where I find the most items. Now it could nip me in the butt and not turn out that way today, but typically those are the results that I see and that's kind of what I'm shooting for. Before I used to work Monday, Tuesday, and then I would try and source Wednesday, Friday, and then Thursday would be like some, would be my listing day and catching up on YouTube stuff. But yeah, my schedule has been all out of order lately because Emika has football on Mondays, so I haven't been working so that I'm always able to go to her games. And yeah, it's kind of thrown my whole week off. So I'm just always adjusting and trying to be fluid in my plans. And I know what the basics are for my business. I need to source and I need to list. Those are like the two pillars to having a reseller business. Uh, okay, well, I'm gonna drink my water. Uh, as always, I am looking for new brands, old brands, pretty much anything that I think is going to sell right now, but also looking up comparative pricing. Is this something that people are looking for? Is this a desirable item? Are there multiple factors why I should pick this up? I usually am not just picking up items on one factor. They have to have a couple things going for them to make it worth it. If it's just one thing, it's to me, it's kind of a higher risk, right? Uh, so yeah, that is the plan. And we're also going to pick an item to add to our reseller box. Okay, I'm going to pop in quickly. So I just tallied up from the last vote you guys made. And let's go over the items that we're going to do in the giveaway so far. So we have three items decided so far. We have two more. You guys are going to vote on two more um, items to add to this box. But I'm getting excited. This is looking so good. Like, I can't wait to ship this out to someone. One lucky viewer is going to get this awesome box of goodies. Let's look what we have so far. Okay, so first item are these cool hiking pants. Uh, they were in a size two. Next is this Lululemon jacket. Oh my gosh, I love this. I'm not sure what the size is. I think this is also a smaller size, like a size two probably um but i have no doubt that that will still sell really well uh we have this mustard yellow top from wilfred so if you never find aritzia items and you want a chance to score that now is your chance so excited to toss this in okay we're going to continue on with the video by the end of this video you guys will have voted on four items we'll have one more video and then we'll be able to do the giveaway on the box and the box is looking pretty good so far okay well i don't have a donation although i have a coupon from jeff so jeff i signed jeff up <laughs> if you have a spouse a family member a friend that you can sign up for coupons from any secondhand store you should have two accounts because sometimes they send emails at different times to different people uh, for Jeff, because he rarely ever shops there by himself and uses his phone number and, and codes and stuff, they always send him coupons to try and get him into the store. So he just received a coupon, I think on the weekend maybe, and it was the spend $50. It was like tiered system, but basically if he spends $50, he will save 30% and it's to a max of like $11 off or something like that. That's cool. I will take... No, it's got to be more than 11. What's five times? Why can't I think of this? Five times three would be $15 off. Oh my gosh, that was really hard. <laughs> Mathing. Oh man. So yeah, I uh, 
I'm like tempted to sign one of my kids up so that I get even more coupons because they again don't really shop there and Value Village or Savers Club is like trying to reel them back into the store and it's me that gets to use the coupon. Okay, drink my water, grab my bag and let's go in and see what we can find. All right, no coupon, grab the bag, doesn't matter, we're still going, packages to be shipped. Okay, send in the juju, send in the juju. All right, it is a gong show in here. I cannot find an aisle where there's not already two or three people, so we're gonna try and get some footage in here. No promises, if not, I found some good stuff and we'll do a haul in the car. All right, so a Carhartt long sleeve, women's, size small, not bad. $15.49? Oh, I just don't know. I'd pick it up for M, but it's black. She's not gonna wanna wear that in summer when she's working. Way too hot. Oh, that's a cool one. Trying to find a crew neck for Nashville. <laughs> uh, I noticed she's been wearing hers a lot and she goes through phases, but yeah, if I could find a cool one, I think this one would be too tight on her. That's a cool tie-dye bound one though. She's trying to get through the knits. Yeah, lots of waffles and knits here. Not necessarily crew necks. Oh my lord, what is this? Cuteness. <gasps> New with tags, oh my gosh. Wish I knew something about plush. That's a cute one too. Look at all these little cute plushies. Oh my gosh, someone donated all their stuffies. Okay, time to sort, and we gotta get out of here. It's just too crazy to record. Okay, I did not walk out when I was hoping to. It was really busy. Holy smokers, was it ever busy. And yeah, it was crazy. I found a couple good pieces though that I'm excited about that have some value to them, but we're gonna keep trucking along because on sourcing days, we just keep going. Uh, yeah, what time we got? Okay, I think we'll head to one of the buy sell trades maybe see what's happening there that was a light bag i don't know if you heard that toss but that was a light bag all right we got three items to go through um each individual i'm still stocking up on flannels for fall uh this is an ll bean let's just ll bean relaxed fit extra large very oversized uh, black and white flannel so soft uh, i like the flannels granola girl is still trending it is not going anywhere and uh, if it doesn't sell in summer i think it will do good in fall and even though i said i haven't sold any of those flannels i picked up it's been kind of weird weather right now, so I'm still holding out for those selling in fall. I'm sweating in here already, it is hot. Next, I actually had to look this up and I was like, is this brand worth money? And the brand is Hervé Bernard. It's not, I looked up on eBay, I looked up on Poshmark, it was like mediocre, I don't know, nothing crazy. But the reason why I picked this one up is it is a pink, linen button down and it's almost like gauze linen material so i'm going to want to get this listed right away i i've sold two linen tops actually in the last two weeks they were the or not linen they were the flax brand ones but i actually i think they were linen blend ones so for those two factors it's linen it's gauzy material perfect for summer also very lightweight i felt like those trumped the the fact that the brand isn't an expensive brand. I think I'm gonna be able to get $45 for this. I'm hoping to get $45 for this. I saw solds everywhere. Some solds were like really low, 
but I'm always a fan of like take really good pictures, create a really good description, and you can kind of determine value sometimes, especially on a quality piece that's a quality, or not a quality piece, but a quality material. And then the last item I grabbed, which I don't find often, and I can't believe the price, they had it marked at $8, plus I saved, um, and the brand is Brixton. This, I don't know if this is a popular brand in the States, but it's quite popular here in Canada. It's also quite expensive. Um, it's almost like a, what would you call it? I always see it at like snowboard shops. I don't know where else they sell it, but it's usually, yeah, it's usually priced high. So something like this is probably like 70 or $80 brand new. Anyways, it is a cropped um, flannel and it's a really nice material oversized type of sleeves. I'll show Emika and see if she wants this for fall. If not, I feel like I should be able to get like $45 for this. I didn't even check comps. I just knew for that price and it was a Brixton flannel uh, plaid, I felt like it would do pretty good. And good cost of goods, like $6.50 on it. That's not too bad. Uh, not the crazy haul that I was hoping for, that's for sure but I'm not feeling discouraged today because there's still a ton of stores that we can go to and we're just gonna have to keep trucking along. Okay, I'm gonna drink some water before we take off and uh, the next store opens in like 15 minutes. So that gives me just the right amount of time to get there. And yeah, also Play-Doh's is having a 30% off sale. It started last week when I was there. It ran over the weekend. I'm sure a lot of the stuff has already been sold, but sometimes I like to find those little gems that people miss. And uh, if I can save some money on them, that's even better. Okay, drink my water, let's go. As I'm backing up, change of plans. We are gonna go to the second value village. Uh, yeah, I haven't been up there since last week, so it'd be nice to kind of take a look around. I can usually find a couple of gems there, and uh, yeah, we'll see what they got going on there, and then we'll go to the buy, sell, trade stores on our way home. That is like, that seems like a solid plan. I need to go to that store more often. <laughs> okay, let's get going there. We're doing this. It's gonna be good. Sending out the vibes. <laughs> All right, not grabbing a bag at this store. Um, let's see if the superstition works. Maybe I need to start doing that more at the other store. Just don't bring a bag in. See if uh, if that works. Cause it's been a little dry the last couple times I've gone. soccer cleats here oh my gosh okay yes these are practically brand new but come on oh my gosh prices are getting crazy here I'm 
I don't know if you guys can see the smoke, but oh man, it's like killing me today. That was another dry stop. I grabbed two pieces, we'll hop in the car. I think they're pretty good pieces to be honest, but oh man, I like look through stuff and it's incredibly busy here. Like, you guys can see this, the parking lot is full, full. Never used to be like this, like a couple weeks ago. And uh, our kids are not on break yet either. It's just, just busy. Oh my gosh, I had to let my car run and cool off a little bit. It is way too hot out here. Hot, smoky, humid. It's just like gross right now. Okay, I found two good pieces. Uh, one is a something I have never found actually by this brand. I like finding this brand, but I've never found this and uh, it's pretty cool. I've had some good luck with unique items by the brand NYX and that's what you're looking at. Uh, I was actually kind of hoping this was going to be a Skims piece but I don't find very, I don't find any Skims pieces here in Canada secondhand. I think it's popular but not as popular as it is in the U.S. for sure, like for sure, for sure, or at least in the city I'm living in. It's not that, not that big of a thing here. Uh, we also don't have any stores where you can buy it, which I think has an impact in um, what shows up in our thrift stores. I mean, we are always finding things here that we don't have stores that sell, but it does have an impact on availability. So this is a NYX bodysuit. It's very soft, uh, definitely has some contour type material, and then with a wireless built-in bra. I love these pieces, and this is in next to new condition. Also has a snap adjustable um, bottom, and uh, yeah, like the color. This is a cool piece, happy about that one. And then this was the really cool piece, so brand new with tags, Harley, oh, here we go, Harley Davidson shirt. And look at the bling on this, bling. It has mesh, the colors, oh. Especially being motorcycle season right now and people getting ready to go to rallies and I think Sturgis is probably happening soon. I think this is the perfect piece. What size is it? And it's a size medium, good size. Okay, we're gonna head to the buy, sell, trade stores. I'm not convinced that this is the day that I'm just not gonna find much. I, I know that I'm gonna find, I just need to find a pocket of something at a store. But if I don't, I mean, it is what it is. This is the reality. Not every time you head out do you find huge bolos, um, huge thrift hauls, and honestly, I think people that are like, I mean, there's certain cities I think that you can do more and more with, but if someone is always finding like $300, $400 grails, question it because every time they go out, because to me that just doesn't seem realistic, but maybe it's where I live, I don't know. Anyways, okay, we're gonna head off to the next store and I'm gonna get my AC cranked because it's hot and I'm sweating. All right, first store we're stopping at is Style Encore. Let's see what we can find here. Ooh, that's a fancy car, fancy paint job. but that was a much more generous thunk of the bag. Oh man, that was good. That was good. I can't wait to go over these things. I'm gonna start my car, let it cool off a little, and then we're gonna go over these finds. Okay, I was able to find a shady spot. My car got to run for a bit. It's a bit cooler in here. Let's go over this. Uh, this is pretty good. This, there's some bread and butter in here, but there's a brand I have never found and retail value Canadian is over $1,000. I found them online. I'm like shocked, shocked. Okay, first off, 
is a Free People Sweetheart sweater. I actually just sold one of these for like $70, $70, $75, I don't know, somewhere in around there. And this is a size medium, good size. I love finding those sweaters. Like those sweaters in particular just do really well, still desirable style. Next is another Free People size medium sweater. I'm stocking up for fall, guys. I'm stocking up. I got a We The Free, oh my gosh, like waffle oversized knit. And this has to be a big, oh my gosh, this is a size small. It is literally like an extra large. That's so crazy. Love the color of it. Pink, perfect for Barbie. Let's do all the free people things. I think this is the last one. Yeah, last free people item. Uh, I don't know about this one. So this is a size large, but it kind of has like that Southwestern, has some lace in it, nice charcoal gray, cotton tunic type top, has like the split. Uh, yeah, I like this one. I grabbed a couple Lulu, oh, also, before I start, I had a 20% off. So when you spend, I think it's when you spend $500 in the store, <clears throat> you like build up points. And then on the next visit, when you hit your 50 points, you get 20% off your entire purchase. So usually when I'm going in right now, it's like I'm looking for good deals, things that I can make money on, but I won't pay up for items. I generally will wait until I have a 20% off. I used to get that 20% off like every other time I shopped there and then they kind of changed things in there, how they were pricing, things like that. So I definitely don't hit it very often, probably, I don't know, maybe once every two months now. And uh, yeah, I hit it the other day and she told me and I was like, okay, I'm coming back and I'm going to find stuff. Next is a Lululemon. I think this is the cashmere blend sweater these do really well i can sell these usually for like 65 to 75 dollars i like those i also just sold one of these the other day i grabbed another one it's a black cotton cable knit lululemon sweater uh no flaws really good condition actually i don't know if there's a size thing Ooh, size eight and it still has like crispy tag i love that a pair of Lululemon shorts, which I wanted to find the size in the store and I could not find it. Looking in all the typical places, let me check this other side here. Here we go, size 12. Oh my gosh, so cute. Love these shorts. Um, I think I'm a size 10 in these, but I might keep them for myself. And they're like brand new like this tag this little thing is brand new i also grabbed a pair of these i love this color oh i wear these a size 10. i might try them on like i'm sure i'm a size 10 12. oh they're a size 14. definitely too big but lululemon align biker shorts and then i got a pair of size eight i don't think these are size eight but I imagine they would have checked the size that, yep, they're size eight, uh, on the fly, black pants, next to new condition again. And I think this is the newer style of them as well. So that's cool. Okay, first pair of shoes that I'm excited about, these bed stews. If you don't know what bed stew looks like, that is the brand. They had them priced at 37. I would have saved about eight bucks on these. So $29 and bed stew shoes. These are, these are over a hundred dollar sandals. And then the, the biggest find, like I'm shocked are those Ferragamos. Oh my gosh. So they still have, you guys can't see this, but they have like this plastic covering on the Ferragamo. I don't know if these were actually worn. I think they were maybe only tried on in store and uh, they're a size six. When I look them up online, they retail over a thousand dollars. There are solds of these shoes for 250 Canadian. Um, I'm feeling pretty excited about this. I've never picked up this brand. This is 
This is new to me. I just can't believe the value. Oh, and they had them, so they had them priced at 65. I would have saved $12, so 52 bucks. If they sell for 200, that's a good flip. Man, if they sold for like, yeah, if they sold for 200, I'm hoping to get more, but even at $200, that's a really, that's a really good profit on those. Um, they might be, I might sit on them, I'm not sure. I can't remember whose video I was watching recently on YouTube and they had sold a pair of Ferragamos for more than I thought that they would sell them for and that's kind of what made me look at these ones. Typically when I would have saw that price of $65 I would have been like, mm, no. But happy I searched up comps on that bow patent leather style. Oh, that was a mouthful. Okay, we're gonna make one more stop. Uh, this is Play-Dohs. I like Play-Dohs. I'm looking for things that they miss here. Also, sometimes I find really good quality like jet dresses or jumpsuits that are linen, cotton, things like that, that they don't price up because it's really young people that work at this store and um, they don't always know like the quality brands. They know like the brands of their generation or their um, age category, I guess. I don't know how you, how you did say that. Um, but there are quite a few things that they don't price and they're just like $20, good enough. Uh, they don't care. So I'm gonna drink some water. It's really hot here and smoky and I'm trying to preserve my throat and my lungs right now. <laughs> and we're gonna head in and see what we can find. Here's my nice, nice little shady spot that I found. <laughs> Ooh, they changed some stuff around. super loud in there all the time love it it's awesome to shop in not good to record in and really busy so this is the first week that university is out and college is out um or not no it's not the first week they ended in april convocations were last week so i think i do think for some people this is like the first week it's incredibly busy out today at every store i've been into and it's a tuesday i am recording this on a tuesday i just i'm shocked i don't know i don't know Anyways, okay, I found two more pieces. Nothing like crazy or out of the ordinary. I think those fair gamos have like taken the cake today, but I did grab a free people size medium sweater. It has like these beautiful, can you guys see it? It's like velour sleeves, like bell sleeves. Oh my gosh, they're so cute. And I love the, the pattern of this, so kind of like that acid wash. And then the second item is another free people sweater size medium and this one has like a ruffle v almost like a victorian look but so cute cotton terry material very comfortable love it okay so we are done sourcing for today and i think i have an idea of what i want to put in here now i'm trying to keep the items light because uh, I have to ship a big bundle of stuff. <laughs> so the two pieces that we're going to choose from today, it's going to be a free people option. You have the choice between two free people items. And I think this gets confusing in the comments, but you're either going to vote for the black top or the pink top. So the pink top is this We The Free pink waffle knit oversized uh, long sleeve and it's in a size small but like honestly if it's like a size medium or large so that's your first choice and then the second choice for today is going to be this black one. Oh my gosh I love it it has like the lace and then you guys can't even see the bottom but the bottom is all lace and it's kind of like a long sleeve uh, tunic top I personally really like this one the most but it is up to you guys so choose the black it's gray we're gonna call it black just for ease black 
or pink that is your two options today and if you don't know what is going on hold on let me get this car going uh, i am doing a giveaway on the channel we're doing a reseller box every day i put out a thrift with me video i'm going to give you guys two options to vote on i'll tally up the votes probably a couple of days after i thought originally i could get it done within 24 hours but that's just not realistic so i'll probably tally it up within a couple days if you're coming into the video late you still need to vote in order to win the grand prize of the five items in the reseller box you have to vote on every video i can check this go through the comments it's really easy to uh, search your name make sure you've entered and then you'll be good to go so we now have voted four times with this video and I think it's looking pretty good. Like, I think it's looking pretty good. There's some good value in this box. I think it'll be a, hopefully a couple hundred dollars. That's what I'm hoping. Uh, okay, well, I'm gonna wrap this up. I think the smoke is taking its toll on me. I'm feeling, um, well, I'm pooped. I've gone through four stores and I was hanger flipping. Like I tried today. I was trying really hard, harder than I normally do and it just wasn't a great sourcing day. It happens like that sometimes. I have so much stuff to list though, so yeah, I'm not sad about it. And those fair camo shoes, oh my gosh, how excited are you guys about that? I'm so excited, oh man, that's such a cool find. But yeah, all right, well, I'm gonna head home. I'm gonna hide in my house with my air purifier running and uh, try and get some listing done today. I'd love to hear what you guys are finding. Did you find any cool items this week? Is there any new bolos that you guys learned? I'm trying to build my like bolo knowledge or brand knowledge and uh, any brands you guys add to the mix is a big help. Also, please do not forget to like this video and subscribe if you're not already subscribed because that's like an absolute free way to support my channel and uh, help me out. Okay guys, I am going to head out of here. I am wishing you all many sales and I will see you next time. Bye!